Soil testing is an essential part of nutrient management planning. Fertilizing decisions needs to be based off of the soil nutrient content as well as crop nutrient needs. A standard soil test done by the University of Vermont Agricultural and Environmental Testing Lab will give you results for many macronutrients, micronutrients, organic matter, cation exchange capacity, base saturation, and pH of your soil. Gather a soil probe and a bucket. And if you don't have a probe, you can use a garden trowel. You may be able to borrow a soil probe from your local extension office. Have a Ziploc bag and marker handy for collecting and labeling your sample. Make sure your bucket and probe or shovel are clean, since we do not want any residue to affect the soil test result. Decide the area that you will soil sample based on your management. If an entire field is managed the same way, then take one soil sample for that field. Or, for example, if you have a section that is managed with pasture and another that is managed for row crops, then take one for each area. Also consider landscape differences such as hills or wet areas. When a field is larger than 20 acres, split the field into two sampling areas. To take the sample, remove debris from the surface. Push the soil probe vertically in the ground reaching a depth of about 10 inches, or the depth of your tilling zone. You can mark your soil probe with tape or a marker at 10 inches. Avoid sampling directly where fertilizer or manure was applied. Deposit the soil into the bucket. To take the sample using a trowel, dig in the ground to get to your soil sampling depth, and then take a vertical slice of the soil, trying to maintain even thickness from top to bottom. Take 10 of these cores per acre of field. Take the cores in a zigzag random pattern to get accurate representation of the sampled area. Get your bag ready by writing down the date, your name, and the name of your sample, which may be the field name. Once you have taken all of your soil cores, mix them together and break up big clods. Take about one cup of soil and put it in the bag. There are two soil test submission forms, both of which can be accessed at the UVM Agricultural and Environmental Testing Laboratory website. One is for horticultural crops, like vegetables, fruits, turf grass and lawn, trees, shrubs, and flowers. And another one for field crops, like forage, corn, and grains. Fill out the appropriate paperwork. Write in your name, farm name, address, contact information, and billing information. For each sample, write the field or sample name and include a crop code if you would like to receive fertility recommendations based on the results of your soil test. Refer to the list of crop codes on the second page and enter the appropriate code. After submitting the sample, results are generally ready to be mailed or emailed in seven to 10 business days and are sent the second Monday after the samples arrived at the lab. However, during the busy months of April through May and November through December, results may take a day or two longer. If you have any questions about interpreting your results, contact us at UVM Extension.